In this video, you will learn how to perform a restriction digest of lambda DNA. In this activity, DNA from bacteriophage lambda will be digested with PST1, EcoR1, and Hindi3 restriction enzymes. For this activity, you will need samples of EcoR1, Hindi3, and PST1 restriction enzymes in microcentrifuge tubes on ice. You will also need samples of lambda DNA and 2x restriction buffer on ice. It is helpful to use color-coded tubes to organize and keep track of samples in this activity. Label four color-coded microcentrifuge tubes with L for lambda DNA, E for EcoR1, P for PST1, and H for Hindi3. Label all of the tubes with your initials and date and place them in a microcentrifuge tube rack. Start by loading each of the colored tubes with lambda DNA. Using a fresh tip, transfer 4 microliters of lambda DNA from your stock tube to the color coded L tube. When obtaining your sample, work at eye level so you can be certain your pipette tip is in the sample. Look closely at the tip to make certain you have obtained the correct amount of sample. Then transfer the sample to the matching color-coded tube, placing the tip near the bottom of the tube at eye level to make certain all of the sample has been transferred. Continue this procedure for transferring lambda DNA to the other color-coded sample tubes. Once you have finished transferring 4 microliters of lambda DNA to each of the color-coded tubes, reset your micropipette and use a fresh tip to transfer 6 microliters of 2x restriction buffer to the color-coded tube labeled L. Again, using a fresh tip, reset your micropipette to transfer 5 microliters of 2x restriction buffer to the color-coded tube labeled E. Continue this procedure using the same volume of 5 microliters to transfer restriction buffer to the tubes labeled P and H. Once you have finished transferring 2x restriction buffer to each tube, reset your micropipette and use a fresh tip to transfer 1 microliter of restriction enzyme to the corresponding tube. When you have finished placing restriction enzyme into each tube, mix the components by gently flicking the tubes. Then place the samples in a microcentrifuge, making certain the load is properly balanced. Spin the samples for a few seconds to collect the samples at the bottom of each tube.
After spinning the tubes, place the tubes in a rack and incubate for 30 minutes in an incubator or water bath at 37 degrees Celsius or overnight at room temperature. After the samples have completed their digest reactions, they are ready to be loaded and run for analysis. Please see our video for loading and running an agarose gel for help with this procedure.